the Lord knows how to ask about the cancer that you have. The Lord knows how to ask about the headache that you have. The Bible said that Jesus turned to Martha and said, show me. Show me. Show me. Show me. Show me where you led him. That's, that's the only thing Jesus wants to know. Jesus just wants to know about your past. He just wants to know about your situation. He don't want to, he don't want to be explained to him. All right. yes. oh, the Lord is saying, where did you lay him? The Lord didn't ask the question, how did he die? What killed him? Show me. The Lord is saying tonight, invite me in. You want to be revived, but you have not yet. Invite me in. Your brother shall live again. You shall live again. But there is something about you living. There's a process in you living. How I'm going to live again. The Lord is saying, invite me in. Yes. Oh my God. Yes. Oh my God. Hallelujah. Oh my God. If I need to be revived, if I need to be resurrected, the Lord is saying, I don't need you to tell me about your problem. Notice that when you read from chapter, from verse 1, straight up until now, Jesus didn't ask about his sickness. Jesus did not question Mary or Martha. Glory to God. How did Lazarus die? What killed him? The first thing we got to understand, while he was in the other side of the city, the Bible declared that he tarried two days longer. Yes. Because the Bible declared that he turned to his disciples and said, I am happy. Now he said, Lazarus is asleep. Now when he speaks sleep, it was a parable. They did not understand what Jesus was saying. The seed of the Bible said, I've got to tell them plainly, Lazarus is dead. But I'm glad that I was not there. And I'm glad that I was not there. Why? Because for you to believe. You don't understand the scripture. The Bible said, I am glad for your sake. You see, many times certain things is taking place in our lives, and the Lord said, I'm glad for your sake that I was not there. So you could believe because we are walking with God but we are not believing the things of God we don't understand that the Lord said I am the resurrection I am the life Lazarus shall live again Lazarus shall rise again I shall rise again I don't know about you but I shall rise again but I've got to invite the Lord and Savior in my life I'm inviting you in Jesus. Take up residence. Take my life. Take my mind. Take my soul. Take my hands. Take my feet. Do what you will, God. I'm inviting you in. I need to live. I need to live. I am the resurrection. I am the life. Your brother shall live. He shall rise up again. Oh my God. I'm glad for your sake that I was not there just for you to believe. Oh, what a God! What a God! You see, you got to understand that the Lord is on the back side speaking to the disciples and knowing what is taking place in the land of Bethany. Oh, when Lazarus fell asleep, 
The Bible said that God turned to his disciples and said, No, Lazarus is asleep. I believe at that particular time, Lazarus fell dead, but the disciples did not understand the power of some stuff is asleep within you. Some stuff is dead within you. And the Lord thy God is there. I am tarried two days. And now I'm on my way. Invite me in. You don't understand. The Lord said to his disciples. I am glad for your sake. That I was not there. So you will. Believe. You see that? Because many times, Bishop, we are walking, but we are not believing. That's right. Shh. We are calling upon the name of Jesus, but we are not believing. Yes. If you read the scripture, the Bible says the question was asked, if thou believe, do you believe that your brother Lazarus shall live again? understand you got to reach into a position you got to reach in a place where you know that I shall live again whatever lies dormant within me it shall live again because watch this you shall restore everything that the conqueror that the locust that the caterpillar you got to understand whatever the enemy has shown it I'm going back into the enemy's camp and I'm taking it so you're not here the Bible said that the kingdom of God somewhere violates for the past take it by force now is the time for the church to reach in and snatch it by force 